So what inspired you to start DAPROM and specifically work with uh, employees and hire people from the base of the pyramid? Um, I, I, I thought about starting DAPROM after doing my university um, project. Um, it, it was, a, it was a, I did a, a degree in finance, international business, and uh, saw that there was an opportunity in financial sourcing services. And um, I thought that I can be able to build a business to be able to target uh, such services. And that was, that's, that's actually uh, a, an area with a lot of opportunities. I mean that in Kenya we have so many trained accountants could be an area that we could be able to uh, get some, make some money in. And working at the bottom of the pyramid has been our desire and goal to do that, being that uh, people around me have been uh, in itself from the bottom of the pyramid. And, and these are my friends um, and high school friends who came from extremely impoverished uh, backgrounds, who I thought that once this person, uh, I, I went to my high school up country in the villages, and I, I thought due to the exposure, they may never get a chance to get employed in the companies that I had the exposure to get employed into in Nairobi, the big companies in Nairobi. And uh, that's why I decided to start up with, and that's why I decided to employ people from the bottom of the pyramid. Well, of course, I did employ all my friends. I employed some of them, uh, but I'm sure I employed my friends' friends and their friends too. Yeah, right now uh, we are at a strength of um, about um, 120 full-time employees here at our Nairobi office, and uh, we are at a strength of um, approximately um, 400 university workers working remotely in their campuses, earning money for the university school fees, which most of them are under the uh, government uh, loans uh, for education. And uh, that way they're able to pay for the school fees and uh, take care of the upkeep. And also as mentioned, which is very exciting, I believe, is uh, they send some money, some extra money to their parents in the villages. and. They, and I mentioned also before that there are people paying school fees for their younger brothers and people, people working from campus uh, helping their mother pay. Uh, I know one person who helps the mother pay for her cancer treatment. The mother is up country and these are tremendous transformation stories that we are seeing and we are really humbled uh, by by the work that you've done so far, we, it, it feels very good to, to be able to do to do this work, and uh, and and it feels that we're gaining respect by going out and doing this uh, just within just for the purpose of doing what we we dream to do. Yeah. In addition to um, the economic impacts that you've seen on your workers, are, are there any other? Positive benefits that you've seen. Yeah, um, we mostly the workers we employ uh, come come from uh, rural areas, and uh, usually these workers, when they come from a rural area, you don't have uh, internet connectivity, and therefore you don't get exposed to uh, job opportunities available. And the scenario is that um, you, you come from the village. You've gone to a campus. You've worked. You've, you've uh, studied for four years or five years, depending on the course that you're doing. Then you go back to the village and wait for the jobs that you have studied for. And uh, and what happens is when you're in the village, you don't get the opportunities coming to you. So some of the some of the some of the uh, some of the benefits that we we push towards our workers is bringing these opportunities to them. Well, we're working with a number of employers, uh, different organizations, big and small in Nairobi, to be able to employ these people who have worked with us and who have been able to learn the soft skills that uh, we've been able to train them through their, 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 the time that they've worked with us. So we give them the soft skills and which makes them attractive 
to uh, potential employers. So when um, potential employers are going out there into uh, the market looking for fresh graduates, our workers, our university workers are a great place to start by employing.